When it comes to playing with Lilo, she just has like a level of energy where we can play non-stop. Lilo would just chase things all throughout the household. She would just entertain herself. One day, she hit one ball up and it fell into the basket. And then we were all just standing there amazed like what just happened. So we taught her to play basketball. She's so excited, like a kid waiting for the shot to be made. It takes time and patience to be able to train a new trick. For the most part, the reason why a basket won't go in is not because of Lilo shooting. It's more because of my passing. I'll apologize. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, I'll do better, I'll do better. She's always willing to keep playing until the shot is made. I think she's been really able to challenge me to think creatively. And we're also looking into how to make these trick shots even bigger. <laughs> we were inspired to do a multi-step shot. All right, Leah, I want you to take this ball, hit it over that rail, into that basket, into that bucket, into that ramp, into that basket. Easy? Easy? Alright, bye bye. Definitely the hardest shot to date. And hit. Oh. 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 No! She's so excited at the beginning. But there's so many failed attempts. Too complex. And hit. There's so many variables that are out of mind and Lilo's control. I was really discouraged. Lilo was determined to make these shots. Lilo was like, I'm making the basket. to make it in. I felt energized, pumped up. It almost feels like my my dog graduated from Harvard. She elevates me to just be more active, more youthful, more just optimistic. And I'm really glad I get to share this with my dog because we can really engage with something that we're both really passionate about. Hey.